YouTube, what's going on, baby? It's your boy Ron Real, aka Double R, back in the building, back with another video, back with another damn banger. Today, we got a special review for you guys. This is a cigar I've been smoking a lot in the past couple weeks. This is one that I, I'm pretty sure is going to be in my top 10 for 2020. We're going to be looking at the Dissident Soapbox in Toro. You guys hang tight, stay tuned. I'm going to tell you about it. All right, today we're gonna to be looking at the Dissident Soapbox. This is a revamped blend by Benjamin Holt over there at Dissident. The original cigar came out around 2015 or so. He took over the company in 2019, started rebranding, started reworking it. So I'm very excited about this. As I said in the introduction, I have been smoking a lot of these cigars, just trying to make sure that my mind wasn't playing tricks on me, that the cigar is as good as advertised. And trust me, I believe this cigar will be in the top 10 for me. We're gonna be smoking it in the Toro. Now, this cigar comes in three different sizes. You have a Petite Corona, which is a four and three quarters by 46. You have the Robusto, which is a five and a half by 52. And then you have the Toro Gordo, which is what we're smoking today. Six and three quarters by 54 ring gauge. I have not got the chance to smoke the Petite Corona, but I am a huge fan of the Toro and the Robusto. Obviously, me smoking the cigar today, the cigar is gonna be rated on how it does today, but I am very comfortable in saying that this is an elite level cigar. Very good flavors on this thing. This is brought to us by Fabrica Oveja Negro, which translates into Black Sheep. If you are familiar with James Brown and Black Light or Black Label Trading Company, that is the factory that is rolling these cigars for Benjamin Holt over there. Very, very nice looking cigar. This has some prominent veins, but nothing that detracts too bad from the eye. There is some tooth present. It's kind of weird. I was trying to make sure it wasn't a triple cap, but it, but it actually to me appears to be a quadruple cap, which is kind of weird. It stands out but I can see where the last leaf is rolled in and counting the lines, it's four lines and I'm looking at it now, it looks like it's a quadruple cap. So that's kind of odd. Haven't really paid attention to it. I'll have to start paying attention to the other cigars I smoke and make sure that's not just like a one-time thing or something that appears all the time. I'll just have to take notice on it. Now, the Robusto comes in at around $10 MSRP. The Toro is around $11 for me worth the price worth the price of uh admission in my opinion especially with me smoking them as much as i have been excellent excellent cigar so with that further ado we're going to cut this up and get into it has this nice band on it as well too with the dissident logo which looks like a lightning strike with soap box on the band and then you have dissident on the bottom sorry if y'all hear any banging or anything i got my neighbor over there beating the shit out of something very good draw on this very good Picking up a little bit of cinnamon, like a light hay on this almost too. Very good draw on this. You immediately hit with a nice black pepper, a good cracker note, a lot of brown sugar on this. Very, very good level of brown sugar. Nice black pepper, a little cracker, cracker quality in there. Already feels like a nice medium, starting to get on that low side of medium to full for body. Same thing with flavors. It's a very good tasting cigar. Now I wanted to mention about the blend as well too. This has a Brazilian wrapper, Ecuadorian binder, Nicaraguan filler. As most of you know, I am a very big fan of Brazilian tobacco. Most of the time when it is in blends, I tend to like them. And when I was smoking this and then found out about the blend, it wasn't a huge surprise. So we'll keep on smoking through this first third. I'll come back with flavor notes, body flavor, strength, all that good stuff. So y'all hang tight and stay tuned. All right, we're coming back through the first third of this Dissident Soapbox. Fantastic flavors right now, man. I'm not hyping this cigar up. This is just a really good cigar so far. A lot of good natural sweetness in there, picking up a little bit of cocoa powder, like a chocolatey taste. You're getting a little bit of floral. You're getting a little bit of a mineral, but not a bad mineral. Getting some black pepper, just a very diverse, plethora of flavors in this first inch and a half or so i would say for me right now honestly the body is probably on the medium flavors are medium to full and the strength right now is textbook medium excellent performer so far very consistent from what i've been smoking in the past couple weeks is that's another thing i wanted to reward about this too construction as you see has been very solid draw burn all have been good dialed completely in which if you're looking at a top tier cigar of the 
the year for me. That's what I'm gonna look for. Just a lot of consistency, a lot of complexity, and a lot of flavor. This is definitely satisfying the craving of that so far. So we're gonna keep on smoking through this first third, get all the way up through this second third, see if anything else changes. So y'all hang tight and stay tuned. All right, so we're working our way through this second third. It's the intensity is going up and up, which I'm a huge fan of. There is a drying quality to the palette, like some dryness. There's some earthiness there now too. Still getting a little bit of pepper, but that's in the, the behind the scenes kind of deal. What's in the front is still that nice sweetness. You're still getting a nice brown sugar. You're still getting a little bit of a caramel note to it. A little bit of cracker quality. Still picking up the mineral flavors kind of died down some, but there's still like this floral note to it. This is a very enjoyable cigar. I would say right now, everything for me is medium to full. The strength is medium to full, but it's on that low side of medium to full, but the body and the flavors, <coughs> incredible. Just, and I can just feel it just slowly building up. Not anything to get worried about, nothing that's gonna make you break out and start sweating, but it's just a nice gradual increase in body and flavor. Draw has been phenomenal. Burn line's not razor sharp, but again, I can see I'm not gonna have to mess with this at all. I'm just been, I've just been able to sit back and just really enjoy this cigar. And one thing I like to note too, when you are so used to smoking like good cigars, which for me, I call a good cigar, sometimes they'll be average and the word average kind of has a bad connotation to it, but average isn't necessarily bad. But when you smoke so many cigars that are just kind of all, they fall in that same average to good category, and then you will pick up the few and they just are above average. This is easily above average. This is a great cigar. You know, I would want to know what kind of Brazilian wrapper they have on there, but this is a very good blend. This is something that if I started, you know, as I start blending cigars, this is a blend that I would be very proud of. I think that pretty much for the most part, people will be able to pick up this cigar and just be able to have quite a bit of enjoyment from it. So I have no complaints on this cigar whatsoever. Kind of literally sitting here trying to, again, like I've been doing in the past, trying to hunt and pick for, you know, what's what to, to knock on it. Nice complexity, nice transitions, good full flavors, good mouthfeel, nice retro hill. That retro hill really brings out the sweetness and that floral note to it. So I'm gonna keep on smoking and enjoying this thing. Great smoke time on this as well too. Robusto is just as good. I'd really be interested to see if the Petite Corona is right in line with the Robusto and the Toro. So I'm gonna keep on smoking this thing. You know, barring a huge setback or anything like that, this is gonna score very well. So y'all hang tight, stay tuned, we'll get back at it. Cowboy, cowboy. Hey man, this one's stamped and approved. We are working our way through this last third. I'm gonna get ready to score this cigar. Flavors are still very good on this thing. I would say the last third has been mostly earth. You're still getting a nice natural tobacco sweetness, but a lot of the sweetness from the first and second third has died down some. So you're getting uh, a lot of earth, black pepper, and you're getting a little bit of a brown sugar on that finish. The finish is nice and clean on this one too. Fantastic cigar, man. Let me go ahead and score it. As you guys see, I'm gonna have no problem nubbing this out. Just very, very consistent. Great job by Dissident. This is a very good cigar. So for flavor, I gave it an 18 out of 20. Incredible flavors from start to finish. Definitely way above average. I gave the draw a 20 out of 20. The burn a 20 out of 20. Complexity is 17 out of 20. Definitely getting some prominent transitions in that very nice blend. And I gave the strength a 17 out of 20. Medium to full, starting to creep on that full on everything. I would, I even honestly would say, yeah, I would say on the highest part of medium to full, lowest side of full you can get for everything. Just a really enjoyable cigar. Overall score on this is a 92 out of 100. It's going to be in my top 10, y'all. I just don't know where it's going to be at, but it, you will see this cigar in the top 10. This is one of the best cigars I have smoked in 2020. I'm telling you guys, if you see this out somewhere, I co-sign the Toro and the Robusto. I got to get my hands on the Petite Corona. Very good blend. Brazilian wrapper, Ecuadorian binder, Nicaraguan fillers, Benjamin Holdover Dissident, two thumbs up on this one. This is good. This has been the Soapbox, the all new, all revamped blend. Hey, elite, elite, elite. So with that being said, y'all know the name of the game is relaxation and enjoyment. And don't forget to be driven, never motivated. We're going to catch y'all on this next one. Peace.